Hi, and welcome to my kitchen. And if you like my necklace, you could buy it at Post Market, Kingston and Crown. Thank you for coming. And this is the second installment of what Rav Shalom Marchai Rabashkin spoke about in Beis Rivka. Thank you to Mara Tachtel for arranging this. I was in awe the whole time. So the last time I spoke about that, he wouldn't walk anywhere without his tzitzis uh, and his yarmulke. And I ended off in South Dakota when they beat him, and he was lying in a room, really in a hospital bed, I think, really hurt. And the guard came to the door and he said, Rabashkin, your lawyer is here. You want to see your lawyer? He said, sure, I want to see my lawyer. He said, so get up and come to the door. He said, I can't. I can't walk. I told you, I can't. I don't have a yarmulke and I don't have tzitzis. I can't. They did this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. They were testing him the whole time until they finally gave him his yarmulke and his tzitzis. They did the same thing with kosher food. When he asked for kosher food, they said, we don't have any in South Dakota. This went back and forth, back and forth. And he said, I'm not eating it. They said, are you hungry? He said, sure, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten in 28 hours, but I'm not eating it. I'm not eating it. It's nothing to talk about. They were testing him because five minutes later, after hours, five minutes later at the end, they brought it. They had it. They were testing to see Bifo means the mitanemis, yeah? He said something unbelievable. He said nine times, nine times, the lawyers asked for whatever it was that they asked for, nine times. He said, imagine if the first time they asked, they would say, okay, we're gonna go from 27 years to 20 years. We'll all be happy. Oh, yay, we got something. It's a miracle that they didn't give in. So that I could hear, he says, those words, Rabashkin, get out. Imagine, Rubashkin, get out. He talked about, you all know Olive Bay's Gimel, yeah? But he talked about the concept of what does emuna and bitochen mean? So emuna is on the ovar, that you believe. And I've said this here before, emuna comes from the word lehitamen, to exercise, yeah? The more you have emuna, the more you have a muna. The more you work on yourself, the more it works. Bitochen is taking that first step without seeing the rest of the staircase. And you have to have bitochen that the Rebrechter will do it. He said the most incredible thing. I want to leave you with this. He said, I wasn't in jail. The Fredrik Rebbe said that your goof is in jail, but your neshama isn't. He said, I worked on it the whole time that I should not be there. So I was besimcha the whole time. Friends, wow, he's a regular person that grew to such, we each have a chelikalakami mal mamosh inside of us. But sometimes we let it be dormant. He took that chelikalakami mal mamosh and he, held on to it, besimcha, besimcha, with happiness. And he told the girls, I missed my children's wedding. I missed grandchildren being born. I missed my family. So I had in my mind, I used to sit and think, now I'm sitting by the Shabbos table and I sang Smiris. Now I'm by my daughter's wedding and I sang the Alter Rebbe's Nigging as I walked down. Now, do you understand? He wasn't there. So I'm going to give us a bracha. Let's take ourselves out of the places where we don't want to be, and let's reach higher. I remember being inside an MRI machine. You understand that for me, that's a little difficult. I didn't want to be there. So I started singing in my head from Aleph, a nigun with an aleph, then a nigun with the base, then a nigun with the gimel, to get myself out of there. Do that if you need to sing to get yourself out of somewhere. He wasn't there. He worked on himself to be besimcha and to be higher. Aleph, base, gimel.
and Muna and Bitochen bring us to Geula. Thank you very much. Bevirchas Moshiach now and Bevirchas that each and every single one of us should be able to get out of the Meitzar that we're in to the Merchav, to the outside. Thank you. Seid gesund. Thank you.